passed. And without the objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. And with that, a crackdown on TikTok is one step closer in the United States. A bill to ban the social media app passed the House of Representatives on Wednesday. If the bill becomes law, TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, would have to sell it within six months or face a ban. It's prompted much debate in the U.S. Advocates for TikTok say a ban would infringe on American freedoms. This is a Pandora's box. What's to stop Congress or the United States government in the future from forcing the sale of another social media company claiming that it's protecting Americans' data from foreign adversaries. TikTok! Keep TikTok! Keep TikTok! Others say a ban would be detrimental for millions of businesses that rely on it for digital commerce and marketing. Any ban on TikTok is not just banning the freedom of expression. You are literally causing huge harm to our national economy. We have small business owners that are here and small business owners from across the country that use TikTok to move our economy forward. There is a concern about national security, however, a fear that TikTok's user data is accessed by the Chinese government. TikTok said its data is not accessible to China-based ByteDance employees. False. China-based employees routinely access this data, even unbeknownst to employees of TikTok USA. Allegations that TikTok and Beijing strongly deny. Although the United States has never found evidence that TikTok threatens U.S. national security, it has never stopped suppressing TikTok. This kind of bullying behavior is used when one can no longer win in fair competition and disrupts the normal business activity of companies. But a TikTok ban still has to pass a few more legislative hurdles. The next step is a vote by the Senate, where it's not clear it will pass. If it does, the president would then have to sign it into law.